everybody this is kina miniatures mayhem and more welcome back give me one sec because i did not turn off the girl that girls like i should have um i'm just gonna actually mute them but hi everybody i have been gone for quite a while and i made all these grand plans for how I was going to um, make, let my year come in and do my diamond paintings. And I'm walking around, guys. One second. One second. Trying to get something and I don't see it. Okay, so apparently I don't know if you guys can hear me, but be right back. Should have been here. All right. So anyway, I had all this grand plans about what I was going to do, how I was going to schedule my videos, what days I was going to record, and then boom, life hits you. So um, life happened to me, and I really need a break from life which brings me back to diamond painting um i don't want this to be a sob story or a pity party or anything like that but um um i know i told a few people in grace's live australia grace <laughs> um that my significant other um he went to the hospital because his feet were swollen and he thought it was, it was uh, he's a truck driver. So he just thought it was his boots or whatever. And the next day they were really swollen. So he went to the hospital and he ended up with a DVT. And that's a deep vein thrombosis. Um, additionally, he was um, in renal failure which required immediate dialysis. Um, when they did his blood draws, they determined that there was a protein in his urine that was um, pretty significant for um, or indicative of uh, cancer. So he ended up being diagnosed with an inactive multiple myeloma, which is not cancerous at this point. And I say, now what is that made me go? And I say at this point. Um, however, he has to be treated with chemotherapy. He will be on dialysis. Hopefully his renal function will come back. Um, sorry about that. Um, so we don't know. So big life changes for me and a new normal um, that um, nobody was expecting. Um, he is only 52. He'll be 53 this year. So yeah, big changes, big changes. Why do my magnets disappear? Like, oh, wait, maybe they're on my plants. Because I'm like, these things were just in here this whole time. And now, um, I'm moving my diamond paint and I can't find my magnet. And then, you know where you'll find them? In your USB port. Because that's like, I was trying to plug my USB port up and... I'm like, well, this is what's going in. I'm about to yell at my granddaughter and everything. And yeah, it was a magnet in there. So anyway, the diamond painting you just saw is a custom that I had done at Spell Queen. It's of my granddaughter. It's a square. And so um, because I'm going to have that one professionally framed, whatever expensive ass cost it's going to be, I decided to... I'm going to, I'm single place. So I'm going to take a break from that because, um, my way of coping with the stress of everything has been to shop. Now, as it stands, I wake my ass up at 3.30, 4.30, 
4 o'clock, you know, whenever um, I feel like I need to go to the bathroom. After that, I'm awake. Um, I work from home. I'm a nurse. Uh, my clinical specialty is trauma nursing. Um, also, uh, nursing education and staff nursing. However, and I got my nails done, girl. Y'all know that never happens. Um, however, I right now um, work for a care management company, kind of like case management when the people in the hospital come and get you set up for going home and figuring out what you need and trying to get all those issues resolved before you leave. Yeah, I do that from home. However, it's for a startup company with a clear vision leading into population health. Very excited. I'm a manager there um, of a big insurance account um, where we're do care managing their pay patients or their members on their behalf. So as you can imagine, again, lar a startup company um, started off with about 18 employees. I think we're up to 60 now. All I do all week, meetings, hire, meetings, interview, interview, meetings, interview, interview, implement something new, meeting, meeting, interview, interview, implement something new, manage my staff. Um, so that takes up, like, man, I work, I may get up at 3 a.m., um, 3.30, I go have me some quiet time, my coffee and quiet and games or whatever, little light meditation in the morning it's still dark outside but i got a sunroom and a heater out there because i'm in the um, chicago land area and um yeah so by the time i come in it's probably an hour later so i'm logging in at 4 30. as a matter of fact my boss told me do not no more messages at four, 4 in the morning because <laughs> i wake her up um like mute your phone or take the notifications off your phone i'm you know i'm that's when my brain is working so anyway um i guess i'll just be writing it on post-it notes in my you know they got the post-it notes app and then uh figuring it out from there um so anyway so with um his dialysis which is monday wednesday and friday um he has chemo on thursday and um the chemo is for the multiple myeloma dialysis for the renal failure before he left the hospital he was diagnosed with a rare condition called amyloidos amyloidosis and or amyloidiosis or something to that effect never heard of it it's uh, mainly a african type people disease and he's black as i am african-american um diluted <laughs> um so of the people who have this or are curious of this only one percent actually um does it activate and do what it does um for that disease process he is going to have to have a stem cell transplant anybody in healthcare, cancer oncology or trans transplants can tell you that um yeah we're in for a battle with that because he's not gonna have an immune system so um my my means of coping has been um shopping and i've just been willy-nilly buying diamond paintings um yeah so i'm gonna put that one to the side because i am going to try to go on a no buy kind of a thing and I am going to um, try to do some of these diamond paintings that I bought for specifically for people and take care of that so that's my short story as to what's been going on with me um, you can't see this picture really well but it's really cute and um i bought it for my little cousins because they're biracial and it just reminded me of this them too then i forgot I, I forgot i bought this right so then i bought another one and i think the other one is 
doing ballerina stuff and um one of them said that they want to be a ballerina and i'm like that's more like belly dancing stripper mode oh, you over there doing it so um yeah so i call her a belly ringa anyway so i think i'm gonna do two because it's the two girls and one one picture looks like um a little kitty this one i hope the colors come out good and that'll go for chloe and then kylie will get the one where they look a little bigger because she's only what a year and a half older i don't know but anyway just um letting you guys know what was going on with me and so to the end that i actually get my stock down and it's not stock because I'm not selling it, but my stash to something respectable. And so that I could just start working on things that um, I really, really like. I am going to those and do my 25. Now, I said 25 this year, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm a little far with that. Um, I am going to... Um, yeah, I had to do this video or something because I was like not doing it. I'm just around here watching like 18 hours of hoarders, 12 hours of um 12 hours of um Golden Girls and now two and a half men are about to come on. It's not like I haven't seen every episode of everything cuz those are like I watch shows over and over, right? So those two I got down. Um, with that being said, we know that Kina <laughs> is not quite the fan of the unboxings. And I'm not a fan of the unboxings. Well, not that I'm not a fan of the unboxings. I don't really care to do unboxings. However, content is hard to come by. And I'm not like a jokester, like um, Mrs. Coffee or scrapping like a lady you know i'm not a comedian type person but I, I can tell a story if i need to i just need to write those stories down because my world is kind of moving so fast that from day to day um i forget shit so um yeah and i don't have little kids and i don't have anybody that you know childlike that lives with me and i do you know, my daughter is here, but hell, she come in, pack her stuff up, go over her guy house, and um, yeah, I see her when I see her. And she's in her 30s, and so, yeah, nothing wrong with that. What I did do, though, guys, and I think I'm going to take care of that while I'm sitting here talking for this little quick fill you in on what's been up video, is I was calling myself... I had okay, so I the channel is miniatures, mayhem, and more, right? Um, I do more. What did I do with the more? Because I just had it this morning. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna work on the more. So I am not only addicted to purchasing diamond paintings. I also seem to be addicted to now. Where are the magnets to this? This is ridiculousness. Um, I'm sure they're stuck to my drafting table somewhere at the bottom. And I'll find them shortly as I crawl around trying to get diamond paint off my thing. Um, diamond drills, I'm sorry, off my floor. So anyway, I, um, what the heck did I do with those things? I just had them and peeled all the stuff off. Anyway, I do more crafting than... Diamond painting. Diamond painting is my newest addiction. Um, I do dollhouses. I do um, room boxes. I do miniatures. Um, I do upscale items, upscaling items from thrifts. And I also do the Dollar Tree bling outs or, you know, where you look, see something like I was, I need a jewelry box, right? So I've been okay so i've not only been done buying diamond paintings dealing with my stress 
I have been buying jewelry. I am not a jewelry person, but girl, I have been spending money crazy, right? So, um, I bought the jewelry and I don't have a damn jewelry box because guess who don't wear jewelry? I don't even get my nails done. Guess who got their nails done? This was inspired by um Miss Coffee and those marmalade nails she had on. I was like, uh-uh, I got to have that. So, um, yeah, I did order some for marmalade, but for the price, I found these. And, and I think the ones from marmalade had a red tinge to it. These don't, but, um, yeah. They they were seven dollars so, <laughs> and they working. And I cut them and I filed them out short to my liking. Not you know those coffin nails or whatever they call them daggers they wear. Um, I I gotta go to the bathroom and wipe well. So, um, and I have to type every day and I need my fingers are functioning fingers right. So anyway, um, I had you know Dollar Tree shopper. I have stickers. I have a lot of things. So what you are going to be seeing is I need to be more zen and mindful of taking care of myself while taking care of others. Because if you've seen in my other videos, my dad has um, Parkinson's early onset dementia. Um, he's on dialysis. So shake and fall and dialysis shake and fall and dialysis he really now he started this um um non-purposeful moan thing that he does oh my god drives me off the wall so i'm here with him during the day um my grandmother is here she has dementia she's 96 this year celebrated her birthday marge mildred and we don't call her grandmother grandmother we call her mildred and um yeah, she has dementia too, but she goes to adult daycare. So I'm here care managing by trade as a nurse and care managing um, as a family member and loved one. And now as a significant other. Yeah, I'm getting it and getting it good. So um, I'm not complaining because anything could happen to anyone. My God did not expect all of this um we have to work out logistics because we do not live together um i moved back in with my parents to help my mom and now yeah dynamics are gonna change and i know you know we're two grown people he don't want to live here and i don't want him to either <laughs> so um the new normal is gonna be a lot of ripping and running and um he has no clear understanding of what, um, I guess I could turn this around while I talk. Hold on, y'all. Hopefully the, my camera don't fall and break. Okay. So, hey, um, no makeup, no holes bar. It's Sunday. So, he has no clear understanding of exactly what this stem, um, stem cell transplant is going to consist of now. He has no idea that he is not going to have an immune system. He's going to be on reverse isolation, which means that we need to cover up visitors, families, friends to protect him from germs. And I wanted to go over there this weekend and kind of ease him into a YouTube video because I, I said that the docs explain. So he goes to Northwestern Hospital, I think it's this upcoming week or the week after to get the consultation i asked him did he want me to go and he was all he you know so he's trying to act manly like i got this or whatever um but you need they're going to explain to you in medical terms and you need to understand what they're saying and he while he he will ask them and make them break it down he probably get on a nurse till they break it down which is fine but i want to know too so, because when I ask, and he plays like he doesn't know. Um, and then we have been going through the stages of grief because he has, he was a truck driver. He cannot truck drive and be on dialysis. He can't truck drive and be on chemo. He can't truck drive and not have an immune system. So, um, his finances have changed significantly. Um, 
apparently my finances are going to change significantly in trying to be supportive into disability and whatever else clicks in for him. Um, you know, without draining whatever he has for retirement or whatever. And then I'm still over here being sister girl that I am. Like, ooh, can we get that promissory note? And I'm not trying to be mean, and it may or may not be the time, but I been there, done that. Now he's 52. I'll, he'll be 53 this year. I'll be 55. Not my first rodeo. And you can love him to death, and then something could come up and then you're not together or something happens and um we're not married and i'm not gonna get mads off the top because my name is not kina government it's kina drummond so with that you know um as i do help out i'm i'm getting it in writing shoot anyway um call me wrong if you want to i could be wrong but i ain't gotta be stupid i'm not gonna be that um, although I'm there for him and I'm not going to run off. So, um, yeah. Um, so I, I think it helps being a nurse and then being a trauma nurse because shit happens unexpectedly. It's trauma nurse, it's trauma. So you're used to people coming in, being upset, whatever it is that they got going on and um, dealing with this unexpected event that happened in their life. It was the same for him. His feet swell up. The best thing, I was like, maybe you got CHF. They can give you, you know, this, that, and the other to, you know, pull some fluid off you and Lasix and this and that. And I'm just thinking, worst case scenario, not renal failure. You know, not uh, uh, a multiple myeloma and definitely not some rare disease requiring a stem cell transplant. So, um, I have been meditating on this and it is not going to ruin my life. It's not, I mean, it's going to be, like I said, a new normal for us, but, um, I will be there for him as long as, you know, we can stay in each other and which would be the natural course of the relationship. Anyway, I'm not going to run out or anything. It's not like that. I do have, um, extreme feelings for him. Um, so it's not that. But, uh, yeah, so rough times ahead and, you know, my outlet is really going to have to be this. So this is where I think I made all those promises at the beginning of the year and I'm going to be held to it and I'm going to have to be holding to it because, um, be beholden to it because I get to talk to somebody, I get to vent. I get to say it out loud. We have mutual friends and, you know, he may not want them to know his business and they don't diamond paint. So, um, yeah, I, I, I get to release in some shape, form or fashion. And that's a good thing. So this was my back to basics video or back to the mix. What I really want to do, you all, is get up and figure out, oh, I think I know. Hold on. What the heck I did. This is ridiculous. What the heck I did with all those stickers that I modged, podged, claiming, and then so modged, podged them because they were papery, and said I was going to make cover minded. Oh, you know what? See, this is why I need to do this. They write my damn face. Right, him. So these are not much. And um, these are just those little, um, oh man, I forgot the brand name. Stickers. I'm going to put you guys back down so you can see what I'm talking about. So these are those little um, jot type um, stickers. So they have like a foam, foam back and on the back, I took those off. But these were all my granddaughtery. <laughs> the unicorn was right. And for me was some that I had at one point for a stomach 
it for the summer. I don't scrapbook and I really don't know what I was going to use these for, but they're so small. Some of them, because the small ones I didn't do, um, I was going to um, see how they could be used in my dad house or because this would be like a great little, you know, picture or something um, for my dad house, like on the wall decorations or, or room box or something. So that is what I bought them for quite a while ago. But I came across these and these were all summery. So I figured I'm not really working on my miniatures. So at least these ones that I did for my granddaughter, I can um, go ahead and make them into um, ooh, cover minders. So um, what I did was Mod Podge with extreme glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, with extreme glitter on this side and I'm not thinking it damn it it's paper over here so I'm gonna go ahead and glue the magnets on um, and then I'll mod podge around the back and it's for us so I'm not too upset about how it looks um, and then that gives me a chance because I'm always one of those just in case shoppers so Every time I go to, cause I don't, I don't go to the, like the super Dollar Tree around here, where they had a the craft section, because um, basically they get on my nerves in there. The setup is funky; it's not like a regular Dollar Tree. So, but so the smaller Dollar Tree that I, I like that opened not too long ago, that's not far away. I go ahead and. Uh, get these um utility knife the scrapbook and utility knives almost like an exacto but you know the cheap old brand for a book and i've never tested them out but i have plenty of them i just hey you can never have too many exacto knives so i have several and i've never opened one to use it so what happened was in some of these open spaces with this um Glitter. No, okay, so it's, it, that must be how it tightens up. We'll see. Okay, so it's, let's see here. Huh? Okay. I don't know how this works. Okay, so let's see. Let's go see. So, um, yeah, so what happened is, is in those spaces, oh, oh, there we go. In those particular spaces, I hope this works because that doesn't look like it tightens it up by screwing. Um, anyway, it's a dollar. I, I'll live with it. Oh, no, nah, they don't stay down in there. I can see that. All right, so um, in some of these empty spaces and around the edges, as you can clearly see here, there is some um, Mod Podge that I need to trim. So guess what? I'm going to do that now because if I don't, probably will never get done. So this was, I, mind you guys, I got up at 3 a.m. this morning with big plans. And again, like I told you, nothing happened yeah i didn't do anything i worked on a little bit of the diamond painting which um there is i'm gonna do all the background area because she was outside and the thing is is that um i can't multi-place and so and i'm not multi-placing because i'm gonna spend the money at michael's or wherever to get a night get it framed really nicely um i'm gonna have to show you guys the picture at some point um maybe i will edit this video that was not my plans it was video and go with a little bit of an intro <laughs> that's why i am i'm gonna have them up they might not be fancy schmancy but where i can make them fancy schmancy i will especially like on a day like today because I could have, or days where I'm not working so long, 
I was working and getting off at 3.30. Girl, we got this new account. I'm managing it. I don't know who the hell agreed. I know who agreed to the contract, but I don't know why they agreed to this contract for what our deliverables are. And girl, you, you talking about hustling, hustling. I'm hustling, hustling. I might, like I said, get up at 3 o'clock. I might walk around away from that computer at 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock. It just depends. Um, the other day, we um, had this one company that we are um, um, contracting with to do some work for us. And um, my vice president, who I report to, was not there. So another vice president was like leading the thing. And I'm telling you that we are a small company. So when I say vice president, that's what I mean. So was leading that arena. And quite honestly, um, she was on it. And I appreciated her tenacity. However, I had given her some information. So she was calling to follow up on the information. Hey, girl, what time? Seven o'clock. I heard that phone ringing, but I heard that phone ringing as I was walking my ass to the shower with towels and everything else in hand. And so that next morning I got up, I messaged, I saw, she messaged me that, you know, she thinks she figured out what it was, that she tried to call me, I tried to call you, but you didn't answer, blah, blah, blah. I hit her with the uh, hidden, I mean, no, the help, the line from the help. I text her bright and early at 4 a.m., maybe 5. I is smart. I is beautiful. I is loved. I is not answering the phone at 7.30 at night. I is not. And she messaged me back like, you are stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a good laugh. I was like, girl, seriously, when I get up... And I have um, two phones that I pay for. We don't get business phones like that. So I have two phones. Now, I'm not paying $177 for, for unlimited data for two damn phones. One is an Android. One is an iPhone. The Android was my original phone, my personal phone. And then they, when I got the job, we had to download all this mess. And then calls was coming in, and I couldn't distinguish the work call ring from the regular ring. And so... I think on Christmas Eve, I answered the phone and said hello, and it was a, a member. Girl, I was, whew. yeah, I was like, oh, no, this must stop. So I ended up, I was an iPhone user. I got the Android in an emergency situation, and I was just dealing with it. But then, um, so I ended up, um, like, I need my iPhone back. So I went back and got the iPhone 12 or something. I don't know which one, but it's a, the one we viewing on now. And so, um, yeah, so the, the, my old original personal phone became my business phone. And then this one is my, which I just did, and I need to go put on the charger for the morning because we got a dual security login, and I need that phone to get in <laughs> to log into my computer in the morning. So I, so I run downstairs, I do that. But, um, yeah, um. Ended up, like I said, um, so that's why they saying don't call early in the morning because they have not gotten, so they took away the business phone perk, I guess. So I never had the business phone perk with this organization. So, um, yeah, so now they talking about, I think I'm going to get me a business phone. Well, you should because I might use this phone that android phone if my um if my um ooh, look at this i might use it if um if the battery is low on this iphone but other than that that mug stand downstairs where i have my office set up it isn't like i'm at like i just left the gig and when i leave out of here I do take it with me. I got to admit, I might take it with me if I'm going over my guy house. And, um, but what I, it, it is on silent. So I have to take, make the option to look at it. Otherwise, I won't know. We work from home. There is no building to burn down. 
Um, so I don't know what could be that urgent that can't wait to, you know, a Monday morning. Anyway, that being said, um, I am almost done with this. I bought me some Gorilla Glue and not for my hair. I bought it for the magnets. I got these, um, and I didn't buy the big magnets because, of course, these are not fancy and I'm not trying to sell uh, cover mine because I just thought that I had all this crap as a part of another two set, uh, as another thing. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but they were cute. And you always can figure that out later, what you're going to do with them, right? So, um, I actually, what I do have to do, though, you guys, I am on the channel. You will be seeing a lot more or any more, <laughs> but a lot of miniatures. So, I am, as soon as I know that it's going to consistently be warm outside, um, br bring my um, plantation home, my mansion outside and i am going to begin to do work on my um dollhouse i also but before i do that what i am going to do is um i bought stuff or i've had in my head a design plan for um a fairy house like so and it's going to be like with dried leaves and grass and moss and stuff and i know they um so anyway i have this stuff and i knew that the way i wanted the towers to be made i had i needed pringle cans so i had saved some pringle cans and then it, i hadn't worked on it so i threw those pringle cans away so then i decided i need short cans and tall cans of pringles so guess who been eating pringles all week long <laughs> Yeah, that's my excuse, boo. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, my story, sticking to it. So anyway, I got the Pringles cans, and I'm I got three cans yesterday because they like three for five at Walgreens. So that's number one. So I got those all straightened out, and then I um have some short cans. I kept the short cans, and I think I have some in my storage area downstairs in the basement which I store boxes of my crafty stuff, my bling stuff. Then I, um, the girl that got so bad, this addiction and this dress relief, um, I haven't blinged out anything in a long time, but I came across, I, like I said, I was looking for a jewelry box and I saw one that I really liked, which of course was blingy. Um, and um, when I say blingy, you know, this is what I mean, blingy. Blingy. Bring it up a little bit. So, I, I ooh, you know what? Drop my phone. You don't want to do that. I keep, I always do that though. Grab the doggone thing that you push to justice. So, again, this is one of my fave hats. Um, don't look too much like nothing now, but that's one of my better hats, my favorite hats. Um, and I wear these when I'm sitting in front of my camera at work. My boss hat. I can't see. Yeah, boss hat. I think some came off of there. And then this is just my go outside hat, my star hat. So when I bling, I bling. Um, and so they had some glass mirror kind of blingy um um jewelry box and of course i was attracted to it and but i said i want one to hang so i'm gonna look again at those pictures and clip and save it um those pictures this is not self-healing because I know. Yeah, I know I bought this from Walmart, and I know it was this is my old one. I think. Okay, I think this is my old one. Um, cause it ain't healing up fast. Um. So um. Yeah, I'm going to um. I lost my whole train of thought. See, that's what happened when you get fifty five. Um. Jesus, what was I talking about? 
Oh my God, I am embarrassed. I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, these will be <laughs> these will be cover minders. I actually really want to use. Uh, oh, maybe I should try that spray adhesive, that Gorilla Glue spray adhesive, maybe for the back just to test it out because I bought some. I don't know. I think because they're for me. But I think I want the things to stick and then adhesive, but I can't adhesive the magnets. You know what I mean? So I'll just mod podge it. Anyway, I'm going to start gluing magnets to this. Um, I will show them to you when I am finished and they're mod podge. Or I might not start gluing. What I'm going to do is make some videos so I can have some content. Woo -woo. All right, see you guys later. Um, apologies, apologies for not holding true to my word, but you know, sometimes there are circumstances beyond your control. I want to give a shout out to um, Chris Colossus and Grace from Australia um, for um, sending me hearts and hugs and wishes and taking the time out to um, send me all kind of emojis when they see me in a chat room. And I think Grace was the one I caught her live um, Saturday morning. And I haven't been because I've been back and forth to the hospital. And, you know, he's finally out and I can come home and I can rest. And I'm, you know, it's not work, hospital, see about your daddy. Work, hospital, see about your daddy. It's, damn, I got some me time, right? So I will probably get that done at some point to, during the week or in the morning time when I'm up at 3.30 because my boss said not to text her. So guess what? I'm going to extend that. I'm going to try to kill three minutes to think about what the hell I was just talking about. Because I sure forgot. But if in, in any event, since I forgot, let me tell you what changed my life. This. This is a drill pen basically this is wax on this side this is actually a tiny drill pen um this is what they use at the nail salons to put the um rhinestones and stuff on because they're smaller and baby guess what this work on ab drills i got me several of these these might be if i can make them thicker i tried to put a squishy on here let me try right now because i got two minutes and 30 seconds i might just switch over because especially when i'm single placing because i don't have to i can fill this up right but this side hunty if i run out of wax and i'm tired of going back filling up this portion of it um i already got that that works like um the pretty prices so and of course i say pretty places who jump in my face um, yeah, so, girl, all right, so, marijuana is legal in Illinois. I don't smoke marijuana. However, um, I have bought one of those diamond grinding things from Wish, because I'm like, why would I not pay, you know, 89 cents for it versus whatever? Well, why I would not pay 89 cents for it is because... Guess what? A, I would get it in a day or two, um, if not the same day. B, my mom would not get it out of the mailbox, put it in her car, and proceed to ride around up to however long. To the point where I said, this is a marijuana grinder, right? Right, chill. What I got in here? Why I got diamonds in here? I don't even know if they got you. Um... This is a marijuana grinder, and I like bling things, and this is all blingy. So guess what? Not that in. Not that in. That's when you're done. Um, I could put them in here. Or, since marijuana is legal for medical as well as recreational use in my state, I could put some marijuana in here. I don't smoke marijuana. But I thought it was cute. So now... This it will be my drill grinder, and if I'll cause um, everybody else smoke marijuana except me, I'll give it away. And I'm saying that to say this is because 
how was I shopping? How hard was I shopping? Now, this came from somewhere. Golden Bell Grinders. They etched their name in there. I don't know where I got this one, but I swear they the same. The coloring is a little different. But this is how bad I've been shopping. So, work it wise. Don't shop at 3 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that just to get the stress out. But anyway, talk to you guys later. This is my welcome back video. Um, Tell your friends. Like, subscribe. All that good stuff. And next video will be coming out very soon.